So people are always going to need two things, a place to stay and something to drive. It's guaranteed. When people worry about the pandemic, y'all still getting Instacart, Amazon Prime now, mm-hmm. Uber and Lyft drivers still cranking up. You know why? Because guys like me give them the cars. <laughs> I love it. What's going on, family? David Chance. I want to give you a special invitation to The Morning Meetup, themorningmeetup.com. It is the only organization that gathers every single morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we help you learn entrepreneurship, grow as an entrepreneur, become an entrepreneur, or you just get to be in an environment, a network of all entrepreneurs. Literally hundreds of entrepreneurs gather on a Zoom call every single morning, Monday through Friday, okay? So I want to give you a special invitation to help grow your business and your brand all this year, okay? Every single day. You eat every day for the for your health. You brush your teeth every every day for your hygiene. I need you to learn and grow every single day um, for your mindset, okay? So make sure you go to themorningmeetup.com. It is only $1 um, trial. You don't need a promo code. Just go one dollar the morning meetup.com check it out if you like us stay if not after that it's 79 dollars a month but i'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy yourself okay so go to the morning meetup.com i love y'all see you in the morning the social food podcast streaming now streaming on now. all platforms all platforms <laughs> I'm ready. Let's, let's get this party All started, right. man. Let's go. Listen, welcome to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast, man, where we find people who have documented success. You and uh, they can go out and teach it, man. I am... You, you don't know it, but I've been waiting all week for this interview, bro. Oh, man, me and you both. Right? I'm not going to lie to you. Sweaty hands and all. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, let's get to it, baby. So we got, uh, I got in the car, uh, car rental games. Shouts out to Maddie J. For sure. And... Um, we were at, for one, I, I wasn't 100% sure. I didn't know you did, like, the car rental game. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. But then we started talking at the bowling alley, and I am wowed, bro. Like, yo, you wow. I'm sitting there with my jaw dropped. Like, I appreciate what? that. What? I appreciate that. Things that I've never even thought of. So um, I'm really excited about this, man. Man, me too. I've been waiting for this. Matter of fact, before the wedding thing, I was like, I was so hyped up for last week. I was like, I'm about to go in there with my boy Dave and go crazy. <laughs> I was like, it's about to go digital. But it's dope, man. I'm, I'm glad that you have all of this space. I'm just looking around. I told you, I feel like I'm in like Madison Square Garden. I'm like, my boy is doing it major. And... They can't see how cool your whole space look, but this is, cra- <laughs> bro. Yeah, wow, keep doing your thing, my G. Man, I appreciate this you, is, man. This is doper than anything i ever done. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm a regular bull. I'm a regular dude. I'm from Philly. I'm a regular bull. Like, I'm out here Yo. like, you know what I'm saying? So, Yo, man, so I wasn't like, supposed to be here. <laughs> you know what I'm man, saying? We, we, we got it. First off, just go on and introduce yourself, man, because right, we um, right in. So, uh, clearly, I'm Push Man Mitch. Uh, I, got, I own a the biggest rental car agency in Atlanta. If not the biggest, the second biggest. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I leverage social currency. I teach financial literacy. I teach, I, I, take, I take millionaires and I make them feel like they're regular. Because I, te- I could teach a regular person how to become a millionaire if they let me. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? So my goal now is just, other than to retire my mom this year, mm-hmm. I want to make a million millionaires. So if I touch that guy who touches that guy who touches that guy and, and they got their family getting money, sure. that's what I'm about. So like I was telling you before we started on live, I got to get my boy Clay to be a millionaire. It's guaranteed. I promise guaranteed. you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. What's the formula? What the, is formula the formula is understanding that if you can sell a product for $1,000 to 1,000 people, you can make a million dollars. So if you can do that times 10, then you can make 10 million. You know what I'm saying? And people, when you break it down to the smallest point, it's easy. It's not even hard. Not easy, but it's simple. It's simple. You get not what I'm saying? easy. It's going to take work. Yeah, it's going to take work because uh, a lot of people want instant gratification. So that's the social media thing, right? Yeah. They see me at Lambo and so say like, oh, I want to get a course so I can get a Lambo. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, that's Z though. That's not A. Right, right. Start from A, go to V, C, D, make the bumps and bruises so you know what you're doing when you get to Z. Mm. Why would you want to just start off with a Lambo? You're going to start off with a Lambo, crash it, and now you're done. Right. You get what I'm saying? Get you some. Toyota Prius, just crashed them up. Learn the formula, insurance, how to pay for that. And now you got a Lambo, no brainer. Oh, Easy. Okay, okay. okay. Slow me? down, slow down. Nah, man. for real. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, I can't go in public Yo, like look, civilians, man. for real. Listen, this is king of car rentals right here. And I, how many cars do you have? Uh, 43 for myself, but I have a network of 150. So, like I told you, if you take my course, you understand that I don't only have hold to on, own them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have 43 cars. 43. And a network of how many? Of 150 and still building. 
So explain the network of 150. So what I do is I teach uh, joint ventures and brokering method, right? So just like me and you actually spoke about this. Yeah. So what I do that's the is car out there, the Carvet. Right, that thing gonna that's go. Yours. That thing, that's hotcakes. That's yours. So you know, I meant to bring you. I meant to bring you a keychain. So I normally get this keychain to people who get into the the brokering or joint venture thing with no me, more. just to make sure you know you're part of the click now. It's I was like a Rockefeller chain. Is that boy? Like a chain. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, we good. I like that. Yo, we gotta get them. <laughs> we get. <laughs> we gotta get them. Everybody who got a chain on, they mess with Mitch, and Mitch got the whips going Straight crazy. Like that. All right, so long story short, so I get into joint ventures with people, and I broker with other people who have rental car agencies. Mm -hmm. So you have Maddie J on here. We do this together as well. So he has cars that I use in my network as well and rent out as my own. How do you do this? You learn the game, you master it, you learn the ins and outs of it, then you can talk the talk, also walk the walk, so you know what you're doing if something happens, right? Mm -hmm. So if something happens to this car, I know exactly what to do because I've been running it for five years. So if I take yours, I know exactly what to do as well. I know the terminology to say, I know the, the contracts to have, I know the mechanics to know, I know the tire people, I know everything I need to know. So if I go tell you what I do, mm -hmm. what you gonna do? You gonna be like, I'm giving my keys to Mitch. For sure, I'm gonna let him run it. If, if me and you broker a deal, um, I know what you want minimum per day. I charge on top of that. We both making money. Everybody's happy. If I got five years of clientele, why would you not? Why would you want to sit there and build up your own clientele? You can just give it to me mm. and go work and go have a, a dope podcast <laughs> coming here. And you can go have to worry about the cars because Mitch worrying about it because he got a whole staff and a whole lot out by the airport that can have as many cars as you need. You feel God. what I'm saying? Let me ask you real quick. With this network of cars, mm -hmm. what do you think, and not in your, in your personal pockets, but what's like some of your revenue per month from this car rental business? Me, uh, now I'm doing $200,000 a month, and it's getting pretty consistent. So uh, on the average, I average like about 120000 and that's what my CPA says. Mm. That's what the revenue is looking like, and that's just because... Uh, I'm getting a lot of bookings. Like, I don't just have the car sitting there picking up cobwebs. We get creative. We get creative. We go to golf courses. We hand out pamphlets. We make it make sense. Y'all doing the work. Man, we doing tours. We doing rental, uh, luxury rental car tours. I get deals with the... Uh, the valet companies in front of the W, leave them parked in front of the W, and then let them know, hey, look, if you tell them the, they can drive this for with no deposit, how do they drive with no deposit? I'm be in the front seat with them. I let them get in it, charge them 150. We take a tour around 400 in a Lambo. Then they get in the rentals. They pass them out. Oh, when I came to the W in Atlanta, this dude, Mitch, he had me with the Lamborghini and the I-8. Man, come on, bro. I get creative. All right. So that, that I, I wanted to, like, give people, like, where we are today. But now I got to take them back how we started. Okay. I got to I gotta take them way back. Because he keeps telling people he worked for me. And he, oh, yeah. He I work, work for, for this me. guy. This is like my low-key, my ex-boss. <laughs> this is far. <laughs> hey, and I'm on my boy podcast going crazy. That's okay, lit. Hey, okay. Just, just walk, walk me through where you were. Okay. So, um, clearly... I used to work for this guy, but when I worked for him, I, I had a nine to five as well. So I, where? I used to work for the city of Atlanta. I used to do corrections mm. and I could fight. So I used to teach the defensive tactics as mm. well. So I teach people how to shoot and I teach people how to fight. And I was in a jail and I was like miserable. Like I'm getting a lot of mental wear and tear because mm. you see a lot of horrible truths when you work in a jail, man. Mm. So I was working 16 hour shifts like they do mandatory voluntary overtime. So I'm working 16 hour shifts. Uh, what were some of the things that really affected you walking, like just working there? Working in the jail, just seeing like how, how many of our people are there and it basically reminds you of like slavery didn't end for real. Like this is where it is because you get to see that they got these work details that they put the inmates on and they go out on the street and they do things. They go to the cities and they be go to the bando houses and fix them up, trim the hedges. They go out on the side of the highway, pick up the trash. They go out and clean out underneath the pathways mm -hmm. where the homeless people stay yep. and they clean all that stuff out. They're doing work literally for free. You get what I'm saying? So you can kind of see how the concept of slavery never ended. It's actually, we just numb to it because we don't think about where the people actually go mm. when they go to jail. So I'm seeing that firsthand every day. It's yeah. tearing me up. And I'm a thinker. So I'm sitting there thinking the whole time, like, oh my God, this is horrible. Right. Like, you know, it's inhumane anyway. Nobody should really be in jail. It's not even rehabilitative. They're not getting rehab when they yeah. go there. They're just going there for a second and just living in a horrible situation. Mm. You get what I mean? And then you get to where I was working at. Like, they can't even take a shower every day. They got shower days. Just thinking about not being there as a grown adult, not being able to take showers when you want to. You got to take when they tell you. You got to eat when Shower they tell days. you. days. Yeah, it was crazy. It, wasn't, it was different. So me seeing that every day tore me up. And then I'm associated with police right. now just working for corrections. Right, right. Which is beneficial to me now because I have my badge and when I get pulled over, I can show it and I'll get a ticket. <laughs> but it's not beneficial to me when uh, I'm associated with, with all the stuff like the Mike Brown, mm -hmm. Michael Brown and Trayvon Martin stuff. That stuff happens 
and you're associated with police. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was dealing with a lot of mental battles. Yeah. So I, I was I was dying for a way to get out. But luckily, because I worked there, the reason I'm here is because of that job. You feel what I'm saying? Awesome. So because my chief, uh, Chief Labot, shout out to him, he actually made us go to mandatory budget meetings, right? Mm. So I never wanted to go. This is my second one. I had to go, and he made us go, like, before going to our shift. So mm. before going home. So we did a whole shift, and afterwards we had to stay to go to the budget meeting. Budget meeting. And what's going on in the budget meeting? In a meeting? budget meeting, it's a guy he's teaching you about how to budget your money, how to, you know, kind of keep the money coming in and save it and put it in the stock market, everything, right? Oh, I so didn't personal know. budget. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, gotcha. he's a, it's a black dude. He pull up. He pull up in that joint. He got the, the icy gold rings. He got his wedding ring. It's gold. The ring on the other side. Gold. Cool looking dude. OG. Right. Got a nice little suit on. When he step in, he say, uh, "Hey, he like, uh, what's going on in the stock market today, guys?" And no, nobody raised their hand. He said, "If I was in a room for a millionaire, everybody's hand would have been raised." Mm. I was like, "Damn, he got me. He got me. Like, I ain't want to be there." And I was like, "Hmm, he got me. I'm right. tuning, I'm tuning <laughs> in now." So you know, it's just like the messenger. Like we don't before you know, like you don't really know, like it's not the the message, it's the messenger. Yeah. So like, I wasn't buying into him. Mm. You know what I mean? But when he said that, I'm buying in. I'm ready. I'm like, yo, this is Jay Z talking now. Right. So he had that swag about himself. So I, I bought in. So long story short, he goes into talking about uh, credit and, you know, how his son, he's buying a house for his son, like not buying it for his son. His son is buying a house. He's helping him mm. and he's helping him get his first car and all this stuff. And he's just going, to, I'm telling him how, which cars to get. He has the option of anything. And I was like, how do you got all these options? Right. You know, he can just, I, I went to the lot. I was like, what can I get? Like, <laughs> right, you know what right, I mean? Right. So he basically introduced me to the credit game. So what he did was he started saying all these things that I didn't know were possibilities. So when he tells me this, um, I was just like, I'm vulnerable. I got like a 400 credit score. Mm. I'm like, I got a 400 credit score, bro. Like I talked to him after I said, I got a 400 credit score. And what do I do to switch up my sweat? Like, how can I start building it? And he was just like, he told me exactly what to do. And when I tell you, mm. I did it verbatim. So I'm gonna tell you what he told me. He said, he said, um, go ahead and uh, get you a secure credit card. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where you self guarantee it. And it's going, it's going to probably be $200. Right. He said, they're going to guarantee approve you because it'll help you build your credit. Right. And he said, now had that for six months, make sure you keep it under 30%, pay it off early. Let it hit, then pay it off early. It's going to reflect to your thing that you're using a revolving credit, right? And he said, after six months, they're going to send you an unsecured one. And that's exactly what happened. Absolutely. And they did it, and then they also increased my limit on the secured one. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out everything to do with credit because right. my credit shot up crazy. So my credit shot up crazy. I got a credit card. Now- Did he open the door? That's my man. No okay. cut. So yeah, my credit shot up crazy. I go like, all right, dude, this dude, he got me hyped. I'm like, I got to find out everything about credit. So he basically turned me up. Like, so I'm finding out about credit and now I got all of these abilities to do things. And I'm like, damn, um, I was tripping for years. Like I should have been doing this. So this like- How old were you at this point? I was like 25. 25. I'm 31 now. So that's what, before I, right before I jumped into this entrepreneurship yeah. swag, because I was like, all right. I, and then I seen, after I, I met this guy, I did what he said. I still work him to jail. But then I seen like a Steve Harvey commercial. I know everybody's seen it. When he's talking about, you're never going, if you don't jump, you're never going to be able to fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, when yeah, I tell you that, he spoke right to me. He spoke right to me, bro. So I, I was like, all right, I seen that. And then I just decided to jump. I ain't had no plan. So now my credit is up, right? I'm, uh, I'm like, you all right. you jump, you just quit I the just job. quit the job. I just quit the jail. I'm talking about, I was out of there. Like, I, really? I gave him a two-week notice. And I ain't had no plan. I lied to him and told him I was going to go to school just so it sounded better, just in case I did have to go back, right? <laughs> so, What I was your living situation at this point? I was living, uh, I was in an apartment. I was always got, I was always good. I was financially literate to a point, but I just didn't know about credit. Right. So I had some money. So according to like people with nine to fives, I was pretty straight. Gotcha. So I never was like, you know, struggling. Which is why anything. you don't have the habits now. Like you don't necessarily... Um, like you're not the flashy guy. Nah, you for what? what? I, mean? I, under, I understand it. So I always been like, I'm, I'm something wrong with me. That's what it is. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. So look, I never really had vices and stuff. I don't smoke or drink. I never have. I've never been drunk. I've never been high, right? Mm. So this also accumulates to women as well. I don't have bad habits giving spending money on women. Yeah. So I was like, bro, so before, when I'm watching the Steve Harvey thing, I'm like, why am I not rich? I was like, I don't got nothing holding me back from being rich, bro. Like, why am I not rich? So I, I just, you know, just started invent like, Thinking about like I can do this, like I started believing in myself, which is clearly the, the all you need to do really to be For successful. Sure. You believe that you actually can do it, because we hear no so much. We be like, mm, bro, that's nah. a bar bro. That, people, that probably just went over most people's heads. Man, like you, one, like yo, the core foundation is the belief that yo, I can, I can make some money. Right. 
I can I can be rich. That's it. <laughs> and once I started believing that, I went out and started going out of full throttle. So I quit. I was like, no plan. I said, I'm gonna just drive Uber and Lyft in the meantime, I'm between time, right? Mm -hmm. So I start uh, meeting people. Like uh, the best place to network for me has been. What kind of car did you have at this point? I had um, a Toyota. Oh, and I didn't. I didn't have a Toyota Prius. I had a Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler. So I got a Jeep Wrangler, right? And the car note was high. So this all all this stuff helped me. Mm -hmm. So this all these things that you think are bad, they helped me. I, I had horrible credit. Got it, right? I just couldn't even get it myself. I had my brother and my best friend co-sign for it together. Dang, you did three people on one car? Right, it yeah, wasn't me. Man. I wasn't even in the equation. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get it. My credit was that bad. I'm talking about my best friend and my brother. They they uh, co-signed to get me a Jeep. It was my dream car. I, all I wanted was a Jeep. I had good money. I knew I could pay the note. Mm. I was working at the jail. I had good benefits. Yeah. I had a straight salary. I was getting like 70000 a year. You know what mm. I mean? I was doing a lot of overtime. So That's crazy. Seventy grand a year, credit still trash. Still credit terrible. Account. No knowledge of it. No reason to fix it for me. I didn't. Every, every time, you know, in our community, when we hear the word credit, we start, uh, uh, right. start remixing. Right. You, like, you be like, oh. But, but you know, it's taboo like or something. Like right. People don't know what the deal is. But really, we, when you, later on, you find out it's just a tool. Yeah. Like anything. It's like money. It's a tool. You know what I'm saying? I don't even see money as valuable as credit now. Like, it's like money is just money. It's like yeah. cash. Who needs it? Right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I got credit. So, but long story short, before all of that, I had this high Jeep Wrangler. So, I go out and I quit and I got this Jeep Wrangler and uh, I'm, I'm networking at LA Fitness. You know, that's a great place to network for me. Mm. And I found this art of networking, how people just di dying to give you information. Oh, for sure. People who know stuff, like people think it's like hard to network. People who want, who, who actually are successful, they want to tell people. Yeah, 100%. They dying for here. Take it, yeah. blah, 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 blah. You be like, oh, 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 oh take that. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm in LA Fitness Day and then like these dudes talking about Airbnb, right? They like, I tell them, what the hell is Airbnb? These dudes like, you ain't got Airbnb? <laughs> you sleep. That's how they looked out to me. Oh, so they were all like in the game. Everybody in this gym. I'm at Buckhead LA Fitness. I'll never forget it. All of them had three LA Fitnesses a piece. I'm at three uh, Airbnbs a piece. Really? Three of them a piece. They looking at me like I was a simp. You ain't got an Airbnb? You walling. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Every one of them. So clearly I go get an Airbnb game ASAP. Mm. And, you know, this all circles. This is like a reason I got this high car note. I'm an entrepreneur now. I quit. Where's my job? I was like. I got to drive Uber and Lyft. Now my credit good, right? My credit mm -hmm. good now because I quit. So I went, I was like, let me go get a Toyota Prius. It's a great car to drive Uber and Lyft with, right? right. $20. So you got the Jeep and the... I got a Jeep and a Prius. Yes. I used it. I didn't have no cash or nothing like that. I had my. I left with my pension from the jail. But why didn't you just use the Jeep to... To Uber Airbnb? and Lyft? Yeah. I, yeah. I did that, but it's lifted. I was, I was do, immediately going to do it with the Jeep, but it's lifted and got 35-inch mud tires, heavy-duty front bumper. You know what I mean? So nobody oh. want to climb into the Jeep to the Uber. Right, right. So I was like, I got to get another car. So I go get the Prius, the kind of efficient car. I was like, I'm, see, I'm being strategic now. Mm -hmm. I got them. You know what I mean? I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this money that I got from my pension, get this Airbnb. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And try it out. Right. So <laughs> I do that, right? So I do that. And then, um, so the, this, it's not chronological. Like the story is right, like, right. it's all everywhere, but it's around the same time. For sure. So long story short, I go jump in that Prius. I'm doing 16 hour shifts in that Prius now. Right? Mm. I'm going 16 hour shifts. Um, I'm making good money though. I'm making like right. 2,800 a week, bro. I'm going crazy. I'm, they're kicking me off the app. I'm driving from Lyft to Uber. 16 hour shifts, seven days a week, no time, but I got money. So all this time, I'm just trying to get my credit up to that right score. Right. I, just bought that, I just bought that Prius. So it's a three month redemption time on that whip. Right, right, right. I need to get it to re up. So I'm just like, I'm just thinking of plans, business plans. I'm going to these different, different things I would never do. Yeah. Just socializing with people who do that stuff. So long story short, I get, I'm going crazy in the Prius. I found out about this thing called uh, Raleigh Rides, which is Toro now. Raleigh Rides. Oh. Right. Relay Rides or something like that. That's what it was called at the time. So I found out about that. So now all this stuff is happening at the same time. I got the, I'm, I'm trapping the, uh, I'm trapping the uh, Prius out. I'm, I'm doing that. I'm riding around. I'm leveraging. I'm like, boom, I'm getting 200 a week. I got the Airbnb. I pay for it with my pension money that I pulled from the jail. Oh, six figures of Uber? Bruh, when I, oh, but it wasn't for a long time. I did it for like maybe six months and I was making 2,000 a week constantly. You feel what I'm saying? Me and my brother, we out there hey. going crazy. We talking to each other like on walkie talkies type of thing on the phone. <laughs> we out there all day, where you at, man? I'm, I'm in Tucker, where you right. at? Oh, uh, we riding around crazy. So to get to the point, I was going, I was getting busy, but I didn't have no time. So I had to figure out, I was like, damn, what am I do? I still ain't got no plan. Mm. So I got the Airbnb going and still ain't make money. I just, I'm just getting it together. Mm. So I get it together, I get one. I get that one out. I started trapping out. It's making good money. I was like, it's solid. Nothing crazy. But I put the Jeep on the Raleigh rides. 
And I'm talking about my car note was 400, mm. and I was making 3200 a month off that joint. So hold on. So Raleigh, how did you get introduced to Raleigh Rise? Uh, I just met a guy who was renting his car out on it. He's from San Francisco. They, had, they was doing it already over there. Mm. They wasn't doing it in the A. Nobody knew about it. When I was telling them, and then they just switched to the Toro, which made it even worse because nobody knew the name at all. When I first started Toro, nobody knew. When I was talking, I do, I do Toro. They'd be like, what the hell is Toro? Oh, wow. Now people know it. Right. But at that time, they ain't know nothing. So I get it on Toro. I get the Jeep on Toro. It's going. So hold on. How was you making 3200 a month, though? Off the, uh, off the off Jeep? Off the Jeep, yeah. So I started off. Yeah, I put it, I seen it, it was competitive. That's the cool thing about Toro. Mm -hmm. You can see what everybody charging. Right. So I see what everybody charging. I know my Jeep is the hardest. I got my painted matte black, it's lifted, mm -hmm. 35 inch tires on it, it's looking beastie. So I'm like, I could charge a little more than 80, but I'm gonna do my little reviews. I'm gonna take it down low, I'm strategic. I take it down low, I get my bookings, I get my good reviews, I go above and beyond, right? And I'm finding out how to give people free delivery. So that's gonna give me more bookings. I'm doing free delivery. And I'm getting all of these reviews. So I get like 10 reviews, all five star. I'm, going, I'm taking hits where I wouldn't even take them. Like people smoking mm -hmm. in the car, I'm letting it ride just mm -hmm. so I can get the five star reviews. Right, right. Once I get the five star reviews, I immediately jump in straight up to $200 a day. I get the thing $200 a day. What? When I, I put it to $200 a day. And, you know, Toro take a little cut. So I really couldn't. Did it start booking immediately at 200 For me, it started booking immediately. Why? Because I understood the fact that if I promoted myself, more people are going to see it. So I started using the gram, I started putting on Facebook, and I'm just using the Toro link. Mm. And at this time, when Toro was first coming out, they gave people discounts, discount codes, if you was a host, right. $25 off every time. And I get $25, every person who does it, uses this link, I get 25, they get 25 off. Oh, wow. So I was killing it. I was like, yeah, I can get you this rental. It's, it's 200, but it's, it's gonna be 180, and you get to ride the Jeep, blah, 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 and they're gonna give you a statement for yours, I'm gonna get something for mine. You should mess with it. Man, I was flooding it like that. So I'm flooding it. And it's, you know what's crazy? You just like, a, a light bulb just went off because I don't promote our car rental business on social media. You don't, and you could. I'm only relying on Turo's booking. So right. if, if Turo's slow, I'm like, oh, it's just slow. Exactly. And I don't do anything about it. Exactly. I need to fix that. You can, you can change that easily. Okay, that's what I'm here like for. That's Thank what I'm you. here for. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, gotcha. but nah, that's what that was the key. So I, f I started making money with this one car. This 08, I had an 08 Jeep Wrangler. You know what I'm saying? It's an OG triple. They ain't even had no digital dash. It was just, it was just there. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, but people <laughs> love Jeeps here. I'm in Georgia, so they love them. So long story short, my Jeep did really well. So I was like, man. And Airbnb still ain't take off yet. I'm doing Airbnb, it's a solid. That's mm -hmm. how my Airbnb was. I didn't know the game, how Airbnb now, how I know it now. I'm mm -hmm. a killer in Airbnb now. So you got Airbnb? Man, how, what? Many, how many you got? What? What? I was on live last night showing four of them. Like, I got a, my interior designer going to each one, getting busy. Listen, I, I'm a leverage. I leverage everything. So I want to live for free, drive for free, fly for free, eat for free, so you're gonna teach stay me in hotels for too? free. You feel me? Are you going to teach me that game, too? Man, well, come on, man. That's what I'm here for. I want you to be a <laughs> multimillionaire. <laughs> So, okay. All so, right. So yes. So the 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 Airbnb is kind of stable. Slow. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's paying for itself and, and a little bit of change on top. But my Jeep, when I tell you it's handling business, I said, look, that sparked the idea. I said, if I can do this with one, come on, bro. If I get five of these, I'm a beast. I'm a beast. It's five. Mm. I wouldn't even. I ain't even have million dollar expectations. How just, long? How long was this before you decided, yo, I'm gonna scale up? I'm two months in. I'm two months into the Jeep making that money consistently, right? So I took my hits at the beginning, boom. I get the, I get the Jeep going crazy. It's, it's making 3,200. That's what I'm seeing profit-wise. I'm like, oh, they trying me. Like, I will not take advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> Yo. So I go ahead and uh, my credit finally hit. So I've been, do I've been doing it. Now my credit just shot up to over 750. So I say, I'm even going- Even with both cars on your- Even with both cars. Because no, it's not both cars. Sorry, remember- it's only the one car. One, yes. The one is my brother in there, yes, so I got yes, open. Yes. I got open. I'm, I'm ready to go. So long story short, I said, look, I've been wanting a Tesla, man. I'm going to go get a Tesla Model S. That's the third car, Tesla. Yeah, I'm going to go get a Tesla Model S. I said, but you know what? I, I go ahead and get the car. And then I, I look at my credit report after, and there's no car there. I was like, it showed it hard inquiry, but it's no car there. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. I said, what's going to happen if I go and grab me another joint? So I said, look, let me just be funny and go ahead and get pre-approved <laughs> for Capital One. They pre-approved me. I get the BMW i8 in that thing. I say, oh, they're going to get this to me, $0 down. I go ahead and get it. I, it's, I got mine for Tennessee. I had to hop on a plane to go get I that eight. thing. How much was the i8? My, it was 57000 For i8? For i8, yep. It was a good deal. It was in Tennessee. I had to go fly to go get it. If you get anyone around here, it's going to be high. My last one I bought from around here was 70000 So 
Yeah. So you, it's all about where you go. So I found that out too. So mm. I go out of town to get my, my high end. So long story. I feel like we need to go get an I eight. Yeah. yeah. Nah. For real. I eights are the number one money maker rentals for me. Period. I got three. They go crazy. There's nothing better. I've never seen it. You can ask Matty J. He knows. So mm. either way. So I go and I get the I eight. I check my credit. Let me double check. <laughs> Let me double check. Make sure it ain't showing. So I check. Boy, I was like, it's not there. I'm going crazy now. Right. I said, look, let me go get everything. So I went to go grab a bunch. So I go grab a bunch, man. I go grab like, you know, I got a, I got a new Jeep. I got a Jeep JK 2017 mm. Rubicon. I said, let me get that. When they got that from State Farm. Now look, keep in mind, I'm not letting the dealership run me up. I'm going to straight lenders with this nice credit profile that I got going on. I still so got you're going that. straight to lenders. Straight to lenders. I'm not going to go to the dealership. Never go to the dealership. Let me. If y'all watching me, never go to the dealership. Oh, let the them game run. Is starting. Listen, never go to the dealership. Don't let them run your credit all over to the north, northern hemisphere. Don't let them <laughs> shop you around every bank ever. Just go to your personal bank. Clearly, that's a good one to start with. Capital One does a, a soft inquiry, not a hard inquiry. Pre-approves you. It's good to go. I used to tell people State Farm. They stop, but State Farm would do the same thing. Pre-acquire you to like a hundred thousand, and then you can send them the car you want they tell you your terms right there go to the lot with a check let's get it you know what i'm saying but state farm don't do it no more so you can go to your all of the the, the ones you like wells fargo bank of america you can go get your pre -qual. go walk up in there it's one inquiry if your credit profile is over 750 you that guy they want if you can show them the full picture they won't even let you make you show pay stubs or nothing right so when i got my perfect picture going in there i already know i'm good i already know i'm good so I go straight to the lenders. Hey, look, I want to make a car loan, go Chase. Straight to the lender. Straight to the lender. Get it. Boom. We good. I'm already good when I'm going. I got all my pre -qual. So when I go, I'm not like. We didn't like, notice, Brandon. We didn't notice. Look, I try to get a game when I came. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, so, like, uh, so I go straight to the lenders every time. I don't shop around at, um, at the dealerships because they just shop it everywhere. So I want that. My one hard inquiry is going straight to the bank. And they're going. They go I'm buying money. your course, bro. Please do. Please do. I'll go buy the course. Please do. <laughs> okay, All right. Yeah. So, and I teach that, right? But either way, so I go, I find out, I start getting, I got to start getting everything I can, right? This is all of my personal. This is my how, personal. So how many cars did you get in this time window? Because so, you're trying to, you're, it's a race against the clock, right? right? So I remember, I, originally I wanted to say five, so I had to get five cars going. I wanted, that was my, my short-term goal. If I would have, if I was, I ain't going to lie, I'm glad I didn't. But if I could go back, if I would have knew what I knew then, I would have went and just jumped and got 20. Mm -hmm. But now I know not to do that because why not? Because it's in your personal. So now, and I know how to do the joint venture thing. So instead of me running my personal up and messing up my DTI and having to make a whole lot of money, because even now I got like eight cars on my credit, on my personal credit, I got eight cars. And with that, they still give me another car from a, a lender because I make so much money. And I can show that in my financial statement. Gotcha. And you're showing them that you're getting the cars for that particular reason? Or it's no, just the fact no, that you not when money. I first started getting them, I didn't tell them for that. I was just, they had no idea I had multiple cars. I just, it's just, all they see is that one car, that Prius. Right. And so it was 6,000. They're like, okay. So you got eight on your, per, your personal credit. Eight on my personal. Then uh, the where you see me getting the cars, the economy cars, I get those cash after I've leveraged those finance cars to make a lot of money. You feel what I'm saying? All right. So, so okay. So, you got the two. Then you get five more or you get three more? For I get total three more so I can get five. So, I got the Tesla, Rubicon, I8. I8, got you. Hit them with the trifecta. Right. right? I come back through on the scene and I'm telling you, they doing numbers. I'm an all-star host on the Toro. I'm promoting my joint every day and every night on the gram. They follow me on the gram. How do I rent this? Link in the bio. Go mm -hmm. ahead and do your thing. And it's going to give you a discount code. You use that one. Bro, when mm. I tell you I was murdering the game, so this, I was, there was no one doing it how I was doing it. Right. I didn't even show myself. I'm not a social media guy. I'm just now becoming, because I didn't care. All I cared was right. about my brand. Right. I was like, yeah, go to Push Exotics. Go right. ahead. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. Just go right here. You can use the link. Go do your thing. So I was doing great numbers. All the cars was making very, very good money. I, once I started making that money, uh, here you go. Once I started making that money, I was like, I gotta find a way to get some more cars because it's sure. like it's a no-brainer for me. So yeah, I'm making, I'm, I'm, I'm getting uh, accidents and cars still that this all at this time. Whoa, hold on, hold on, because we are not gonna speed past that. So, okay, you get three more cars and they jumping out the jet. Doing numbers. These five. Yep. Did you try to go get a six one? No. No. When I tried five to go, was your when number. I eventually tried to go get a six, I got it. So it was it like I tried. It was no. Now I got the game. Right. So once I got that game about the how the credit bureaus work. There's literally nothing you can just do to stop me to get right. more cars. When I know that how Toro works with the permission of the owner, you can rent it out and be covered fully. 
once I know that information. Call, say, say it one more time. With the permission of the owner on higher car, Toro, uh, get around. Yes. Same. If you give me permission to put your car on my platform, it's covered as if it was my own. Total loss and everything. Hmm. Once I know that, why keep buying them in my personal? I could get my brother right here who got good credit, get two on his, don't got to mess up my DTI. I don't got to worry about if I got too many cars in my DTI, debt to income. Debt to income ratio, yeah. yeah. I don't got to worry about that because my brother, I'm going over here to the left. I'm not going to kill his. I'm going to keep him with two. So in case he want to buy a house, he good. He can get rid of him or do whatever he want. Mm. We ain't got five, six, seven, eight all on the personal, right? So I'm learning the game. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm like, all right, it's joint venture time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Look, I, this is how much I make, guys. Check it out. Look at my Toro platform. You see what I'm making? <laughs> Look, I can help you get a little bread. You ain't got to do no work. I'm going to run it. All you got to do is use your credit. Go ahead and get an extra side car. That's if they already got a car. Some people already got a car and they ain't got to do none of that. They just give me that. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So they just go get another one. I tell them, I, I'm telling people how to go get the loan, pre-qualify everything. I'm shooting them to the gym. I was shooting the State Farm like it was nothing. State mm. Farm was giving people personal, for personal private sellers. That's so I was, I was so mad when they stopped. Mm. I'm talking about, they would let you go to a dude who got a Lamborghini Huracan for sale for hundred racks, give it to him private sale. They don't give a damn. As long Goodness as they got a title. Gracious. Oh, bro, I was going digital. So- I'm learning these techniques and I'm doing joint ventures all around the city. So real quick, so the number one question people ask is, um, where are you keeping all these cars? You got five cars at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. Where are you keeping them all? So now at this time I had Airbnbs. So I had a place I stayed, the apartment I stayed in, and I had an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So they had parking decks. I put them in there. Gotcha. And then, and then they house. wouldn't even, they wouldn't even, uh, they won't stay there long enough. They was booked too much. Gotcha. So we was <laughs> back and forth. Let me ask you. And, and you've seen both sides. I mean, I mean, from the beginning to like now, was the opportunity bigger before? No. On it was smaller because it was less known. So nobody knew about it. Now everybody know about it, right? It hasn't stopped anything. So I could tell 80 people how to do this and it's still going to be good because like this, I found this out. It's the same thing with the Airbnb. Like I told you, all those dudes had three apiece and it was like 20 of us. We go to the gym to hoop. It's 20. Everybody like, they all sharing, you know, it's networking. Mm. Jesus. They was put laughing at me. I was like, bro, I got to get me some Airbnbs. Yeah. So, you know, I got, I had, at that time I had one. I got like eight now. But at that time, I only had one and I flipped it to three quick. But long story short, it was an oversaturation thing where people worry about oversaturation. But it's the same as any business. McDonald's ain't worried about Burger King, bro. For sure. Big you know what I'm saying? They're not worried about Wendy's either. Yeah. So they're going to still eat their people living there. So that's the same thing. So people are always going to need two things. A place to stay and something to drive. It's guaranteed. Well, people worry about the pandemic. Y'all still getting Instacart, Amazon Prime now. Mm -hmm. Uber and Lyft drivers still cranking up. You know why? Because guys like me giving them the cars. <laughs> I love it. I'm I giving love them it. the economy cars, baby. And gotcha. that's, the, that's what I really try to teach. So a lot of people see me in the, the Lamborghinis and the race and stuff like that, and they get it twisted. Like, those are not the primary breadwinners. All right, they're so, not, they're so not. We, we're going to get right into that. How many exotic cars do you have? Exotic in my network or did I Personally own. You personally own. Two. 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 Exotic. This is over $150,000 car. Lamborghini, Rafe. You know what the crazy thing is? So, but I see you in all these cars, bro. Right. See, that's the joint venture thing. I'm talking about that I personally own, not that I personally have that I can drive day to day. Which is even better. Exactly. Isn't it dope? I have the freedom on my credit report to do what I like. Go get me a house. Go get me another car if I want because I didn't overexert my credit report, right? And then I can actually drive these cars for free. And then let them, not, nobody pays for them. I don't pay for them. The owner don't pay for them. The customers do. That's the dope thing about mm. it. So we ain't tripping. And, and it, you, it makes your brand go crazy because you pulling up in these vehicles. Right. And they're like, yo, who is this guy? Right. right. And that was really um, the reason that, um, that I initially jumped in. It wasn't an income play, but I was talking to my wife like, I feel like I need to go to that next level. For sure. I need, I need to pull up in something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't need to. It's, it's, it's the number one business card. Number one business number card. Number one business card. I swear it's better than any business card you ever had. They be talking to me. They come up to me, ask me what I do all day and night. Everywhere I go. You see what's outside. Mm. Big body Rafe. Yeah. When I go drive that John, when I tell you, uh, what do you do, sir? <laughs> and then anything I do is taken 100% seriously. Exactly. I change it up all the time. I'm like, I'm a teacher. <laughs> what do you teach? I teach people how to get money. You know I what I mean? It. I might say I'm a, I own a rental car agency. I might say I, I run a chain of Airbnbs. I can say whatever I want. It's taken 100% seriously. Mm -hmm. And that's what I teach too, how to use your car as a business card. 
It's definitely the, is that in the course? It's in the course. Oh, it's a, I, I tell I tell I teach these under business strategy. So if you wanna, you literally can get a car only for that purpose. You know what I'm saying? To just to use it as a business car because yeah. I teach how to get the cars. So if you want to learn how to drive a Lamborghini or a Rafe, I can tell you how to get financing for it. I can tell you how to get it on lease. I can tell you how to get it on a joint venture. All you got to do is be able to network with people. Let's say Dave Shans is that credit guy. He got a business that does over this amount of money. You don't want no Rafe. You ain't really too pressed about that. But look, check it out. Let's go get a lease with a company called Luxury Lease Partners where they don't really care about your credit. All they care about is if you make money. Luxury get, Lease Partners. That's one. Luxury Lease Partner. Let me get you another one. Premier Financial. They also do leases, and this does, does what? It doesn't even report to your credit. The only thing they do is a hard inquiry to pull it just to make sure you are who you say you are. Mm -hmm. Don't care about your score. They're going to give you the car. You get what I'm saying? You can drive it around as a business car. You don't got to actually rent it out. Just drive it around, and now people coming to you getting leads for your business. Everything you say is being taken seriously. You're pulling up on a YouTube swag. They know what you're about. They know you got that social proof, oh and guess what time gosh. it is? Guess what time it is? It's that money making bag season. You feel me? I don't, yo, first <laughs> off, you better make me go get an I8 bro, like, tomorrow. Listen okay? to me. First off. Listen to me. I'm surprised you don't got it. I know, because I, I, I wasn't thinking, like, me and my wife, we was like, yo, get a little Range Rover. You know what I'm saying? Got the Range is nice. Range joint. Little Corvette. You know what I'm saying? We got we got a few little. They're nice. I got a well, Corvette was one of the last cars I find out. to another level, man. Yeah. Because, because, and here's the thing. I know I don't even have to pay for it. You don't. That, that's the crazy part about this whole ordeal. That's what it's about. Leveraging. That's what that, my, my, if I'm a teacher of anything, it's how to leverage. Yeah. Leverage everything. I leverage my credit cards. I use rewards points to fly for free, stay for free. You feel me? I'm just, I use everything I do. When I pay for my ads, when I pay for my gas, I'm using credit cards. Because I know it's going to give me rewards for gas. It's going to give me rewards for flights. It's going to give me rewards for hotels. I know that I pay, I got loans to get my cars, and I never use my own money. I'm using OPM, other people's money. I'm mm -hmm. using to get the cars. The cars is paying for themselves because they're getting rented out. So where, where is my own money in the equation? <laughs> it's not there. Only time I use my own money is when I'm using the money that I made off of the bank's money, and I'm paying my credit cards. Because that's what I use all day and night. Mm -hmm. So whenever y'all see me flying, they see me on these whatever, when I see me on these vacations in Aruba, I ain't paying for nothing. Mm -hmm. The bank did. <laughs> you feel all me? right, cool. So you personally own two. Exotics. Um, uh, exotics. Right. How many exotics do you have in your network? I don't even know the number right now. If I told right. you a number, I'd be lying. But gotcha. I have a lot, and I just got three more. I just got another Lamborghini Huracan, uh, Spider. I just got that. I just got a McLaren, a Ferrari, and um, and I got like six Sprinters the other day. Sprinter just vans. Sprinters. And I saw you pull up in them joints. So now you're yeah. going to be rented out for like party bus vibes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly. Okay, and you said something key. The economy cars oh, pay yeah. for... The, the exotics, exotics. Mm -hmm, for sure. So, how many economies do you have? Uh, that's just I got that, more. You, that you bought. Yeah, I got economy cars that I buy cash. I'll offer up in Facebook Marketplace or buy here, pay here. So I pay for those cash. And them cars right there, I have like thirty of those. You know what I mean? Thirty-two, I think, is the number. But those are out on the street. Mm. I got some cars out of town. I got cars in Miami. I got cars up. So in, give me the play. Give me the play. All right. So the play on that, it's a app. It's a website called Rent Centric. Right. You could fully, you know, make your thing. You can run your thing remotely. They give you a little lockbox, bloop, 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 get in the car from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So what you do to take care of it maintenance-wise, you send out the mobile mechanics. I use your yourmechanic.com. They go everywhere. They got mechanics everywhere. Mobile detailing Come services. Come yo. my fault? Yourmechanic.com. Yo, yourmechanic.com. I don't do no, like, one of my customers had a car. So I don't want to go take it from them and then go take it to get the maintenance. I send it right to your door. Yourmechanic.com. Put their address in, boom, pull up. They come in Thursday. They come change them oil, change them brakes. Mm -hmm. They're going to they do a full uh, three-point inspection. They're going to check the tires, see if the tread depth is right, all that. So you know if you got to change the tires. You got to change the tires, tell them, hey, go over right here. I'm going to take care of the maintenance. I just want you to stay in the car. I want to stay running. So I'm going to take care of all the maintenance. That's super convenient. For sure. So I keep them in it, keep them riding it. They like it. I don't charge by the day with those cars. I charge by the week. I only I gotta do three fifty to four fifty a week every time with these economy cards that I'm paying for cash. Three fifty to four fifty. I'm out of it. I don't got. I'm out of it. Once I spend that three thousand, it's all profit. I'm good. Everything so you'll I'm buy out. a car for three thousand, rent it out for three fifty to four. Let's just say three fifty. Three fifty a week. Fourteen hundred dollars a month every time. I'm, I'm gone at all times. Bro, there I don't are, got my phone on me, so I can't show you the cash app. But you think I'm? You might think I'm capped, but I'll show you what the Prius do. I know. I saw yeah, it. You Prius. showed me. You yeah. showed me the other day, the Prius, and I was like, Yo, Prius I need to, that. did ten. In like six months, you feel me? Six, seven months. Prius did 10 Did grand. 10, like 9.7 to be exact. I think it was 9.7. How much you K. buy a Prius for? Um, that was my original Prius. Yeah. I got for 6,000, I financed oh, that Oh, got one. you. But I got more Priuses too as well. So I got two more Priuses. I got four Fusion, Honda Core Hybrids, a lot of Hyundai Sonatas, minivans do good. 
you find those minivans for plays all the time on offer up in a, in a Facebook marketplace. So mm. you go and get a minivan. People use us for Uber, Instacart, Amazon Prime. Now I love do whatever they want. How much you pay? How much you pay for? Like let's say a minivan. How much do you pay for it, and what do you run it? Out? Well, you, I, I, I stay around that price range. I try to wait for those deals. They fall, they come through. About how people, much? Um, about three thousand. The most I pay for one is like forty two, and I'm cool with that because so they'd be good. They'd be like twenty thirteens. Right. Uh, twenty thirteen and up. So twenty thirteen and up. It doesn't have to be that, right. but that's what if you want them to be using it for like Lyft and Uber. Gotcha. You you get twenty thirteen and up because they starting to, you know, every year they make it to where your, your car got to be a higher year. Right. So where where do you where do you find the people that want to get it for that particular purpose, like lifting? Uh, you can put it on the uh, the get it around in the higher car, and and you also can get just around or higher car. That's yeah, the website you can that do that. What. You can do that too. But for me, uh, I found it better on personal. So I went and did that, written them out personally. So once you know, people know you for cars, they know you for cars. Okay, yes, because I, I want to get into that mm -hmm. because one day I like to be, you know, do the personal. It's just I'm so afraid that if it's not on this app, because first off, Toro's going to take 30% they killing it. of your income. They winning. We, I was just talking to Brandon the other day. They winning. Like, yo, they created a website where I can find you and you give me your car. And they're in the middle and take 30% of all these transactions. And they don't own any cars. Are they going public? I'm not sure. And if they do, I'm probably going buy in. I'm invested yeah, in that. Yeah, for thing. sure. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing business model. Awesome. But that's the security. That's the security. Because if so, they crash your car, they steal your car, Tura takes care of it. Kind of. You got to do it the right way. Talk that's what. Them. That's the only reason I made the course. Because I've seen people that, that, well, other than the fact that I wanted to actually teach the business that I do and make a million millionaires, I wanted to teach it because people don't know how to use Toro the right way. So they be a lot. If you follow, if you get on a forum, it'll scare you to death. If you get on the Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> if you get on the Facebook Toro forum, it'll scare you to death out of wanting to rent anything on Toro because you're going to hear all the horror stories. But the only reason you see the horror stories is because people don't follow the steps and things like I teach in the course on the, the pre-trips, like what you need to have, like 80 plus photos inside, outside. You got to cover every part of that car because if you take a picture of the car from a wide range and it doesn't see that part that actually gets hit before the trip, they will not cover you. If you got tires under 432 tread depth and the customer even mentions the word tires bald, they're going to investigate. And if you don't got paperwork from a week of or a tread depth reader on your pictures the day of that trip before they took the car, they're not going to cover you. It don't matter if they totaled it. They don't matter if they stole it, whatever. They're not going to cover you because, well, not stole it, but they won't cover you if you had the tread def tires, uh, the tire tread def messed up. So so if they get in the accident, mm -hmm. right, even if the tires are still there intact, you can go look at the tires to see if the tread depth is Under on point. Mm -hmm. if oh, they, if it's on point, yeah, yeah. If they just say out of their mouth, you know what, I don't know if the tires had good tread, they're just not going to cover it. And no, they're going to investigate it. So, and once they investigate it, if you don't have your paperwork from the week of, and you don't have a tread dev reader picture with you, with your damn tread dev reader in that tire, after they said that, and they look at the pictures and they can't tell, like you could, you didn't take a picture of your tread. Right. If they can't tell that those are good tires, which they won't, because they're going to want to not cover it because you didn't follow the guidelines by using that tread dev reader mm. or a coin to show how deep it is in the tire before the trip. They gonna not cover you. It's just, it's, I've seen it. I mean, it happened to me before. So, um, like a, somebody smacked the car. It's clear. They admitting to it. I was driving drunk. I smacked the car. I ran into the median. But they did say that the tires was bald. <laughs> Brand new car. Wow. You know what I'm saying? They ain't cover it. So then you gotta use your own personal insurance. You know what I'm saying? So that sucks. Yeah. So what you wanna do is. And that raised your rate. That raised your personal insurance. You don't yeah. want to use your personal insurance though, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I say like this. You never want to lie to your insurance company, but you definitely got to know that insurance is a game of words. So you can be covered in any situation. You never lie, but you definitely want to make sure you don't, you omit the right things. Give me, give me, get, walk, walk, walk. So let's say this. If you ask me um, why was, why was Shams driving the car? And I say I gave him permission versus I let it, I rented the car to him. They won't ask directly if you rented the car to him. They're gonna just say, why was you driving? He was a permissible driver. I gave him permission. This is true. But also, if you rented it, that's also true as well. But I choose to omit the fact that it was rented, it'll be covered. Does that make sense? So it'll be covered if I give you permission. 
It's not going to be covered if I rented it to you. No, because it's commercial use, and this is your personal policy. And also, another people don't. Other people it's don't a know. Game of words. It's all about words. It'll always be covered, but you got to know what you're saying. Don't lie. If they directly ask you, then tell the truth because yeah. you don't want to lie. But if they don't directly ask you, make sure you protect yourself by saying, "Yeah, I gave him permission to drive. He crashed the car." You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a huge difference to saying, "I he rented a car and crashed it." I gave him permission to drive. And he crashed it. It's covered. And what is the difference? The difference is you weren't, to them, you weren't using it for commercial use. You no, I'm saying, it. is there a, a game of it's covered or not covered or? Oh, not for not personal paying? insurance, but if for Toro, you want to make sure you did all those pre-trip inspections. Gotcha. You don't want to have no, uh, you don't want to have no tire pressure lights on. Right. You don't want to have no engine lights on. None of that. Before you rent your car out, don't be going, oh yeah, sorry for this trip. No, no, no. Don't do that. That's the time when something's going to happen and they ain't going to cover you. You want to make sure you cover it all the time. That's why I teach it because Tread Death Reader, mandatory. 80 plus pictures inside and outside, mandatory. If they come in there and burn your, if you ain't got pictures of your inside of your seats, and I sit in there and go like this, and with a cigarette, and burn all in your seat, and you don't got pictures of before those cigarette buds was in there, even if I tell them that it was covered, they like, we can't see that in the pictures. They'll show you, I can show you emails. They, they can't see it, it's not clear in the preacher photo, so I can't cover it, sorry. I know it's not the answer you were suspecting, but we hope that we are, you're able to salvage it with your personal insurance. Let me know if you need any help with that. That's what they're gonna tell you. I've seen it. So to make sure y'all don't have to see it, that's why I teach this course, so y'all don't gotta worry about it. I don't ever get not covered now. Every single time, they'll, they'll, fix, they'll give, pay you off for the claim the same day or the next day. They'll send it straight to your PayPal. Wow. I done had a wrap damaged. I done had my wrap damaged on my I-8 on the hood, and they gave me 3000 for that. I got that thing rewrapped for 70. You feel me? So you want to make sure you win in all situations. And wow. I always win in all situations when it's a, a, when it's a high-end car. This is the, oh, I'm about to give you all the game. Let's go. When it's a high-end high car and it gets into an accident and it's not totaled, that's where we win at. That pays the bills for the year. When I'm talking about Lambo, I-8, uh, so, Range Rover. What are we talking about right all now? All right, so they got what's, it's not in every state, so, but in particularly where we live, Georgia. it's here. Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, depreciation of value claim, it doesn't matter if it's my fault. It don't matter if it's the other driver's fault. They got to they gotta cover it. So how does depreciation of value work? Depreciation of value is basically when somebody gets an accident on a car that's nice, uh, let's, say, let's say a Lambo gets an accident. If that's on a Carfax, it makes the value go down. They got to sell it for lower. Right. That amount, amount that you have to sell it for lower has to be paid by the insurance company. Yeah, that's depreciation of value and, and it's lump sum. They give it to you right then. So right after your car is repaired from an accident, from like, is there a hit and run? Somebody tore my front bumper off. That accident is reported to Carfax, right? Mm -hmm. Value down tremendously. Lambo, front end accident. Now, if I give a, do a depreciation of value claim, take it to State Farm and say, look, this is a depreciation of value claim, uh, la, 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 la. This is how much it'll be worth after trying to sell it. I need that compensation for the in-between money. They're going to send you 25, 30,000 right then. I've done it 80 times now. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? 80 times. When I tell you, from my first IA accident, I got 17,000. My second IA accident, I got 25,000. You know what I'm saying? Fender bender, baby fender bender, don't matter. If it's going to go to the Carfax, I got to do my boy, RJ Sweeney. I'm going to plug your boy. RG, rec check Atlanta. You get what I'm saying? He do my, uh, he, he charged 300. He'll do a packet that's 30 pages long. Send it right to the uh, insurance company. They're going to negotiate with you if it's like State Farm, but everybody else is going to pretty much settle with so, you. At a, so let's, 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 let's say that the car is 150000 It gets in an accident. And now that same $150,000, that $150,000 car is now worth one twenty five. So you're getting a 30 ball off the top. And if they don't give you 30, you can sit there and negotiate with them and then go to court with them. But you might get more than 30. And, and the crazy part is you're not, it doesn't affect you anyway because they, you're renting it, it's, it. Well, yeah, it doesn't affect you. So this is the, the killer play. So it gets repaired and I'm trapping it out again, making money from it. Right. Then get a little bonus check for it getting hit. We don't lose in these situations. <laughs> I'm telling you, we don't lose. A lot of people be worried about the insurance. I'll be like, bro, I, that's the funnest part. Once you learn how great insurance is, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not telling y'all to lie to your insurance companies. Do not lie. A depreciation of value claim is legal. It is illegal for an insurance company to raise your premium because you did a depreciation of value claim. These Ooh. are facts. So these, I don't want you to lie to your insurance company, but protect yourself, guys. Don't, don't a a give them stuff that they didn't ask. Mm. Answer the questions now. Right. I'm telling the truth, but 
mind your words, guys. Gotcha. So, but we don't lose the situation. Normally, if it's a total situation, if you do what I tell you to do about the 80 plus pictures, make sure you got a tread depth reader, make sure there's no engine lights on, they're going to cover you. Tori's going to cover you hands down. Uh, they've changed their little uh, packages as far as insurance. So how, however much you want to give to them, you might got to give them a little more if you want all the perks, like a rental and all that. Mm-hmm. I don't need rentals. I got 100 cars. We good. So I don't worry about all of that. I'm, I'm taking max risk because I don't give a damn. I'll put it. Give me the most. So and, you're not on the 70-30 plan. Uh, I'm on uh, whatever the highest risk, whatever twenty five hundred thirty three thousand deductible could care less. Let's get it, because that's what. And when you get a rental car license and you actually get a uh, fleet insurance and all that stuff like that, you can't use, you can't do a claim anyway for five years. Or are they gonna raise it too high? They gonna raise it so high you gotta go out of business, or are they just gonna drop you? So I'm used to paying out of pocket or being creative. You know what I'm saying with my insurance game. You know what I mean? So I got money for mm. no depreciation of value claims. I can use that to go ahead and take care of that thing. Get that thing together. Got you. Okay, so walk me through um, getting off of Turo. Like the personal. So this is just you. Because I had somebody hit me. It was like, yo, Dave, I just want to borrow your joint, man. And I'm like, yeah, do it through Turo. He's like, no, nah, I want to put all my money up on Turo. Right. Well, then you don't want to deal with them anyway. And when it comes to the couple cars you got. So you got some pretty nice cars. You got the Corvettes and stuff like that. You Anybody who don't want to pay what Toro is paying, mm-hmm. it's cheap because I charge way more. I get deposits. Mandatory. The, to my smallest car, uh, my, my, like the economy cars, I get a $500 deposit. Even when they're on a week to weeks, right? Mm-hmm. When I get uh, my regular cars, anything past uh, that $500, it's a $1,000 deposit mm-hmm. for every car. Corvette, $1,000 deposit. You know, Range Rover, $1,000 deposit. Mandatory. If they can't afford that, they don't need to be shopping with me because you ain't going to be able to handle business when it's go time. Yeah. So do you want to aim for those customers who do got that type of money and mm-hmm. understand that this is an actual asset that sure. you care about? Gotcha. And those people tend to teach your cars better anyway. So you don't want to even aim for the guys who say, I don't want to pay Toro. If they said that. Yeah. Now, if they just want to say, I want to give you money versus Toro, that's a totally different t- yeah, subject. No, I, I got some people that uh, yeah. they got the money. It's just- yeah, it's a totally different subject. They want to just shop with you. It's different. But if they said what you said, I don't want to get- right. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to me neither. Right. So that's kind of how I see that. But um, no, you can get off the app. You just want to get um, agreements. You want to get you a nice contract. And what should, what should this, uh, first of all, do you have the contracts in your course? Yeah. Okay. So cool. it's a, it's in the tab underneath. So you can actually see a, a sample of okay. a rental car agreement. So if you got a rental car agreement, you're going to get, you know, all of the information on the car, all the re- information on the person, their phone number, all of that stuff, email address, everything, all the good stuff. And it's got all of the things that you need, the essentials, like what happens if this happens, all of that, the insurance. Oh, so, so you you have, you have the the document, the joint in your uh, in your uh, your course, it has all, it says all the stuff that you needed. Yeah, to it's, say. A, it's a sample. Okay. It's a sample of what you should want to use. Got gotcha. you right. So I mean, clearly you can get creative with that. So everybody has their own particular smoking fees, late fees are going to be in yeah. there, late pickup fees, all of these things. You got to have it. Fees are key. Trust me, believe me, because all of that stuff that you don't charge for, you're going to pay for yourself. It's not mm. worth it. So make sure you cover yourself and make sure you're on. Anytime you do a rental, your pre-trip is going to determine your end. If you real thorough on your pre-trip. What's pre-trip? Like when, before they take the car. Yeah. If you thorough, man, you ain't going to handle too much problems with somebody wanting to pay you. They're going to feel like they're obligated to pay you because you're that thorough. So mm. I say that, I'm going to give you an example. So my wheel trick, it's not a trick, but it's just something that happens every single trip. Every trip, it's one, one in 200 that it doesn't happen. So curb rash, I know you've probably seen that. You've been your cars out. You, yes. get, you got curb rash yeah, in your cars already? Just in my, the, my, guaranteed. Yeah, yo, my car look, the joint. I, look, I just looked at it the other day. Like, what's up with exactly. this Exactly. So it's, it's guaranteed. So that right there, if you thorough on your pre-trip, you show all four wheels. I make them rub the ring. It's no curb rash on this car, right? So when it comes back and I charge them the 250 that I charge them for curb rash damage, if it's less than three inches, if it's more than three inches, they got paid for the whole wheel. But if it's less than three inches, 250, every trip per wheel. And I go through every wheel, one, two, three, four, all of them good, because I get them fixed. I got a wheel guy. You got to get a good wheel guy. So I get them I mean, fixed. He's your time. wheel guy. Yeah, yeah, it's 100. He charge 100, I charge 250, it's 150 on every trip. Guaranteed. It's guaranteed. You feel me? Yeah. So what we do is, no, Toro will give it to you. Toro will give it to you? Yeah, Tor- well, yeah, we'll talk about that. Toro will give it to you, but the thing about it is these are things you want to handle uh, through arbitration. Make them have a firm understanding of it. And so basically what we do is we show all four wheels. We make sure Toro won't give it to you if it's less than three inches. Right. If it's more than three inches, they will replace your whole wheel. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if it's less than three inches, they don't, Toro doesn't want to cover a scratch it. on the rim, scratch. less than three inches. Toro is not going to pay. Not going to pay for it. But More you than make them pay for it regardless. Regardless, and they gonna agree before they take the car, before they take it. If they not agree into that, then what are we talking about? You trying to rent my car? I'll cancel the trip. You feel what I'm saying? And they feel obligated to pay because of how I do it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, I just want my cars to come back exactly how they went out. I'll be like, do you see these wheels? They, I like these wheels like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be like, is one good? Yeah, it is. The two, that one's straight. Rub all around it now. Go ahead and rub all around it now. <laughs> and then we go to all four and they acknowledge this, right? I also do this with a tread death reader. These tires straight? They good, right? We good. Firm understanding. Ain't nobody gonna say that after no trip. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So also, when they bring it back and I be like, you got my wheels there, guy. I need 250 from you. It's going to cash at you right away. They're going to feel like they got to because I, I remember that walkthrough. You damn sure showed me. <laughs> you feel me? So look, but what I want y'all to know is if you charge it 100 a day for the rental, right? Mm -hmm. You're getting that 250 on top. So that means instead of the 100 a day that you're getting, you're getting like a 350. You said every time. Every trip. Now, and there's multiple wheels sometimes. Sometimes they try to parallel park to the right and the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm telling you, these dudes can't drive. I'm talking about it's guaranteed, man. So you get, that's a tip. That's oh, the biggest jewel y'all going to get today from that. Far. So every single time this is going to happen, right? And I get that every so trip. So how do you do it? So you, you said something about the black rim. Like you get your I love black wheels because it's easy to see when somebody does curb rash because it's going to be chrome underneath if they scratch it. Now, if they get the rim that's all completely black, the wheels are black, right? Uh -huh. You see this? You got clear photos. Now, when it comes back, it got chrome in the middle of that. Bro, come on. What you do to my wheels, bro? And then, you know what I mean? It's simple. So you just make sure you cover your own basis. Don't expect people to have integrity when you don't have the integrity in the, in the beginning of your trip. Mm. If you don't sit there and go... <laughs> I care about my car. They're going to be like, he don't care if I beat it up. And now if you already got scratches in your wheels, they also not going to give a damn when they scratch them again. Right. So you always want to fix them in between every trip. You always want to make sure you do that. Don't let cars go out with maintenance lights on and stuff like that. Do not do it. You don't need the money. You make more money sometimes with the cars sitting than going out. Mm. Then how do you do that? Because if it's sitting and it didn't go out on that trip, that totals it or something like that, or they, you don't get it covered by Toro because you had the engine light on and the engine failed and you know the dude was driving your joint like a stick, Right. You know what I mean? Tearing up your damn motor. Um, if you want to just negate that, you just get everything fixed before it goes out. Don't be afraid to say no sometimes. Sometimes no is helping you. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep that car on the road longer. Right. So that's what it's about. We want to make money for a long time, not just for a little sure. bit. For sure. That's why I get those little economy cars, let them just trap out. So I'm going to tell you to play with the economy cars. Talk to me about so, the play. Oh so the God. economy cars, you buy them 3000 off, offer up or Facebook market space. It, it don't matter if it's so older than 2013. You can get, I got an 09 Nissan Altima right now going mm -hmm. crazy. 350 a week. They're killing it. Uh, matter of fact. 09 Nissan 09 Altima. Nissan Altima. Not even in good condition. They still taking it. They taking it three fifty a week and they'll be gone four or five months, right? Whose insurance is it on? It's under my personal insurance. It's under my personal insurance, and I could care less what happens with it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm getting it out and it's going. If it gets crashed, I don't care. I paid nothing for it. It's, it's paying. It's big, big reward for me, right? I could care less. Yeah. So okay, a uh, nine. So let's say you pay two thousand dollars for it, mm -hmm. right? You rent it out for three fifty a week. Mm -hmm. That's fourteen hundred a month every time. Two months, that's 2800 There you go. Three I'm, months, you're, you I'm eight. gone. Hey, I'm going profit. Four months, you doubled your bread. Oh, trust me. And them things will stay out for a year. These people, you have no idea. And then let me tell you how to kill it, though. So they be out, and I'm making that 1400 Rain, hell, sleet, or snow. I'm going to sleep, waking up. Ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and look, keep in mind, look, also, I forgot to even throw this in the beginning. Before y'all rent your cars in any way, two, three kill switch trackers in the car. Mandatory. If you do a joint venture with me, mandatory. You got to have a kill switch tracker. I got to have two or three of them in there because if they find the first one, we got to have another one. So either way, they got to be able to cut the engine off. So when these cars are out on a week to week, I know people wondering like, oh, it's out on a week to week. You really trust these people to pay you? Come on. They don't pay me. I'm chopping that joint off. Mm. And they can't drive it. They ain't doing nothing with it. Uh, we chop them off. It happens once every couple months. We got to kill switch somebody. Mm. But they'll pay. And, then, and you know how you know they'll pay? Because you'll kill switch it, go pick the car up or something, and they'll have their stuff in it. And they want their stuff back. Let me get my key. <laughs> Let me get my money. It's guaranteed. So uh, that is, it's smooth. So always have um, multiple keys and always have kill switch trackers in them. You're going to always know where they at. You're always going to be able to cut them off and take it from the customer. It's simple. But most of the people who I deal with are, are great. There's random people who get cars for other people who do weird stuff. And sometimes you got to chop them and, and go get that thing. It's, so, it's a part of the game. No risk, no reward, right? So either way. So this is the play. So they, I get them. 2000 
3000 OG card. Don't matter. Sometimes I get free cards. Some people are like, I don't want it no more. Let me get that. All right, but I'll take it. 450 a week. Let's get it. It's out of there. It's mm-hmm. going, it's going, it's going. Now, if I pay 2000 at the jump, I made eight, 9000 off of it for keeping all through the year. Now, tell me why I do this every time. Hey, bro, you've been having this joint for like nine nah, months. You might as well just buy it off me for 1500 You might as well buy it off me for 2000 What I paid for. The price I paid for. I pay for, for it. It. And then I get that and I go get another one. Mm. I, go, I do this all the time. Bro, people don't believe me. People do not believe me. I'll be like, I do it all the time. I, I just sold it to her. Title in hand. There you go. It's 2000 Come on. <laughs> Come on. And people, y'all don't know that it's so many people without credit or cash that would rather pay week to week and go drive Uber and Lyft and make their money and drive Instacart and Amazon Prime and all of that and drive and do all of these things with these cars like this because they're not, they're just doing it for a side hustle or they want to make it their main hustle. It's a pandemic. People have lost their jobs. Do y'all know how many people want these cars? Just think about all the people you know personally that probably could use it. Like that you just be rah. And people don't tap into that market. I'd be like, look, just go ahead and give it to the goddamn Ray Ray Keisha. Let her goddamn dry that thing. You know what I mean? She gonna pay the kid Mitch. And and, <laughs> and if she don't, if she don't, I just can't switch it, go give it to the person who is, and I just keep it make make it make sense. How do you deal with theft? If you um, steal your cars. I haven't had a stolen car since I've been doing my my three kill switch method. I haven't had one. Could they still try to steal it? Yes. Have they? Nah. I be kill switching that thing. Yo, when my car is when my car is sitting in the lot, in my lot, they kill switched already. So until we want to move them, they ain't moving nowhere. <laughs> so if you break up in there, got your little machine, you think you about to go somewhere, you're like, this thing don't even work. Go ahead and go home. Mm. Go ahead and go home. So, but I could chop it off. Um, I could chop it off when they stop. So, so one of the cars got start stop function. Mm-hmm. They stop at a stoplight. It's out of there. Mm. We'll go get that thing. How much are those to install? Six, uh, we pay $45. Really? Uh-huh. $60 for the device per How device. How much you pay for the tracker? $60 per device. $45 to install. Not, not, what about the tracker? The tracker is $60 per device. Yo, we're paying $200. Hey, look, man. My course is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yeah, I'm getting your course. I'm getting my, your my, course. My tonight. course is out. So. <laughs> Yo, oh, so real quick. Can we... And I, I, I try to ask this um, as respectfully as pro, uh, possible in front of people mm. to help influence your answer. But can we give like a discount code to the people that are listening on my podcast? Absolutely. It's done. What, what's the code going to be called? I, I got to be something cool. Yeah, shake his head every, t- every 10 minutes. Uh, social proof? Social proof? Okay, cool. That's dope. Yeah, there it is. Social proof? Yeah. All right. It's lit. I'm right, gonna give a discount code. Uh, social proof on the co- yo. I, this is so necessary. Why are we paying two hundred dollars? I, track, yo, I hear these numbers all the time, man. It's very interesting. <laughs> Goodness gracious! You can let it rock. Don't don't answer. So yeah, yeah, sixty dollars per device. I got another one that's one fifteen per device. That's Gold Star. I, this is what I use. I use Advantage. Mm-hmm. And I use Gold Star by Spirian. So a lot of people have trouble finding that when I put just Gold Star. Gold Star by Spirian is the is the trackers I use as well. So if you get them in bulk, they're cheaper too. I, I go I go get one before I know what cars I got. And you ha- and you have the person install them for you. Mm-hmm. Forty five dollars. And and if you use Gold Star's uh, text, they will install them for forty five dollars. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's not even just a Georgia thing. Like wherever, wherever. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Where's um, what cities are not good for car rentals? Uh, I don't know because I think my method works with the economy cars everywhere. Wherever there's an inner city, there is so. people that want to rent these cars for three fifty. So a week. let me let me ask you, and I, I hate to, I, I don't want y'all to think I'm like selling you on the course, but in the course, does it teach just the um, like the tour the Turo joint or how to like buy the economy cars and rent it out personal? Or okay, what? so it it basically teaches my strategies. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's where so like you know like you have Maddie J on here. His bless my brother. For Me sure. and him are combined and like our our lot. Yeah. So. He has he teaches his particular method and mm. his style. I, I like teach his my style. style. Too. Yeah, I teach my style. He teaches his style. Mm. I've been doing mine in a whole different lane. Like we just met this year, yeah. and I was like, "How do we not? How are we not together?" Like it's crazy. And we've been new of each other, but yeah. not from the car rental space right, though, right, for sure. which is dope. But he teaches his style. I teach my style, and my strategies are basically just creative things. So I just think of like creative ways to make it make sense. Like that, like the economy car trick. Nobody, people want to get them to drive the luxury cars. They don't care about economy cars, but they don't understand that people are going to drive these economy cars way more than these luxury cars. When a pandemic happens and you can't stunt no more, 
Them things on ice if you ain't in Atlanta. But right. we in Atlanta. Right. So <laughs> they on ice for real. So what you want to do is tap into the market that's not going to ever, they're going to need them cars. And uh, also you can get in that truck game. We got psh, high vans. We got pickup trucks. We got the 26-foot uh, box truck, 20-foot box truck. We got those on Fetch Truck. Uh, another app like Toro. Fet Fetch Truck. F-E-T-C-H Truck. Fetch Truck. It's another app just like Toro. You can rent your trucks and high vans out for people to rent from you mm. and go move their stuff, bring it back to you. They make them pay a deposit. They run it real nice. You can leave it at Home Depot. I mm. leave mine's at Home Depot in a parking lot. Yo, you know what? You know, some people, they'll spend, you know, $100,000, $150,000 on, on an investment property that's not going to give you three fifty dollars a week. No, it's not. But you can buy a two, $3,000 car. Turn them cars into real estate, baby. Better than real estate. And I was telling, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. Do you ever get an economy car and sit on it and nobody wants it? Haven't. I mean, I, I like, like a lot of my mentees used to ask me, like, what's the best car to get? I'd be like, all of them gonna go. You just wanna do the, when it comes to economies, you wanna do the ones that never really break down. Like? Like Toyotas. Come on, when you seen a Toyota broke down on the side yeah. of the street? Come on, bro, them things last forever. Especially a Prius. And they good on gas. You fill it up with $20, that thing get you all week. You know what I mean? So. I just look for Toyota Priuses, Honda Sonatas. It's just super Hyundai convenient, Sonatas. man, because it's, I just put it on my insurance, go ahead and drive it, something happens. You don't, you don't care. I you don't can care, care less. You know what I mean? And then you can, I still put full coverage on all of mine just to take a little baby check that I'm going to mm. get. But it don't matter to me because I already know, I know, like, if, it, if in the rare occasion that it, before I make my money back, it crashes or something like that, which it doesn't. But if it were to, it's not a big deal. I only spent two thousand. Like for, I'm not saying just you have two thousand. I'm talking about I use my finance cars yeah. to get me up to where I was making enough money to go and buy cars cash. And then I done it. I done it over and over and over to where I got so many economy cars. They're gonna keep going and going and going. Now, when they happen to do break down or something like that, I get them fixed and then I keep them going. And if I if they done for, I already made my money back times tw ten already. Yeah. And it's not a big deal to me. So I just you know. Sell it to a scrap car. Get money off from the scrap people. Sell it mm. to them, then go get another one. Like, it's not even a big deal because there's so many of those cars. Y'all got to understand that they make a, a, a new model of every car every single year. Y'all know how many cars out here? Y'all know how many people go get something on uh, Labor Day, on a Labor Day sales, and they can't handle it no more. They want to give it away. Mm -hmm. Let me give y'all a couple games. Let me give y'all a couple games before we get out for this thing. So you're talking joint ventures. You got people that can't handle their car notes no more. You know a way to make money with it. You take over that payment. You get the money with it. Or you can offer your people who don't know how to make money for themselves, give them money every month to use their credit, get a finance car. So you're helping them in two ways. You're getting some yourself money and you're helping your people who don't know how to make money and giving them side money. That's a joint venture. Learn how to solve problems. If you start learning how to solve problems in this game, you'll never be broke because it's so many people that need cars for stuff, different reasons. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll be getting slingshots. You'll be like, damn, why would I need a slingshot? Cause you can drive it for yourself and then you can make money on it hourly. Mm. Why don't we run out a, a slingshot for the day? Run it out by the hour. 100 an hour going to make you a killing. Get three of them. They're going to get them three at the same time, I promise you. It's so many plays. It's like get you trucks, use fetch truck. You know how many people need trucks for moving? If you're that guy who just give it to them, look, I don't care if you beat it up a little bit. Now you're damn about this truck. Move your stuff. These dudes going to rent in every damn day. <laughs> Y'all know how good these trucks I'll be like, yo, I'll be so surprised. I'll be like, I was like, yeah, just you can you can ding it up a little bit. I'm not gonna make you pay if you ding up the back or uh, they'd be like, bro, I'm taking us to work every day. Do y'all know how much money I make off these trucks, man? Come on, man, don't start. Don't get me started. Mm. So yes. solve problems, baby. And then you'll you'll go a long way. Help your people, do the joint venture method, mm -hmm. broker deals with other people who who are in the rental car space. Maybe they might not be as good at you in marketing. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might not have the platform that a Dave Sham has. He could say, look, I got my rental cars going out for a hundred a day. Who need that? You feel what I'm saying? Or maybe they can't, they don't have that influence. So if you do have it, you can help them out. Give them a minimum daily payment that they'll make, a minimum that they'll make every day when a car goes out and then charge your fee on top. You know, you got that clout. Go ahead and use it. Solve mm -hmm. these problems. If, if they, you know, you're the go-to guy, be that go-to guy. Mm -hmm. Be able to just do good business though. Have integrity and be consistent. If you be consistent in any business, they'll never forget you. So every time they come in town, they're going to send all their cousins to you. They're going to send their sales to you and they're going to make sure that they rent with you because you were consistent and you do good business. If you do that, I, that's why I never worry about having customers because they come into, they dying for me. They hit my Google page. They hit my, my, my Instagram. Mm. They hit my business Instagram. They hit in, uh, 
my Toro, <laughs> my hire car. So I got them coming from all streams. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. And clearly word of mouth is passing around as well because I do good business. And I think of myself as a friendly guy and I, somewhere where somebody will want to come and feel comfortable getting the car. They know I'm not going to trick them and charge them extra fees. I'm only going to charge you for what you do. I'm not going to charge you for what I want. I'm not going to say, oh, I've been had to scratch. Let me get them. No, no. Right. We're going to be detailed on every time and I'm going to make sure everybody's happy that's why i want that's all i care everybody needs to be happy i love it bitch i appreciate you my brother yep um this was just a, a wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. i'm really probably gonna go get an i8 tomorrow it's gonna be so dope we're gonna pull up back to back once you do that i was like look how much is the wrap because you gotta wrap it oh right? yeah yeah so get a good rap guy and let me tell you another trick on the wraps go to these if you got or if you're like a person of influence or if you hang out even in a car group be open to letting people do a sponsorship rap Right? What is it? How does that work? You wrap my car the color I want, and you can put your logo right here on the back to say where it got wrapped at. They'll do it for free. If they know you are Dave Shams, who's got 100,000 followers, they might say 107,000 followers mm -hmm. in, in counting. <laughs> uh, uh, so if you're that type of person, they will be willing to give you a free wrap, good quality from a shop, and then put their logo on the back, just a little cursive or something. And you got a free dope rap on your i8. Do you have a plug that will want to do that? Do you have um, that we, I, could talk I know to? plenty of people. Everybody, it's a, a, another saturated market that if you, you know, you keep doing your thing, they'll, they'll see you in that saturation. But um, always get, oh, before we go, always have the keep car wrap. I ain't got nothing to do. Always had a car wrap. Bro. All right, so this is how you set yourself apart in this market full of saturation. Right. If everybody got BMW i8s on Toro, the plain ones, the white one, the black one, the gray color that they got, which is the all i8s, who, why would they rent yours over theirs if they got lower prices? A uh, rapid one of one color. That's crazy to get everybody attention. I wrap all my cars one on one colors. So when they see my cars in the street, they know it's mine. I don't just put because you can't put like rent to rent me on a tag because people want to act like it's their car. So what can I do to make sure y'all know it's mine? I wrap it blurple, slime, plum explosion. To where you gonna see your little white i8 and they're gonna see his little regular black i8 they're gonna see mine they're gonna be like oh i'm going with the blurple joint mm. so that's how you set yourself apart in that market when it comes to that toro play because you can get undercut in toro with a little cheap prices but which one you want you want you want this one or you want that little plain jane that's gonna be 10 of them in a row you want that one-on-one -on -one. how much so, is the wrap so, um like I, like i want to get the corvette wrap. a corvette uh, they're going to charge you high because you got to take it all the way apart Unless you find a guy who let, who they like you, but it's gonna be like thirty five hundred at least for a Corvette. Yeah, thirty five hundred, forty maybe forty five hundred. It's real expensive now. It used to be cheaper to get a car wrapped and painted, but now you can get your whole car painted cheaper than the wrap. Oh, for sure. Because the vinyl wrap is getting more expensive. So I'm about to get my Lambo. Is this purple now? Mm -hmm. I'm about to get a hit. Um, uh, I don't even want to say it on here. But, but why, it's about to be why crazy. Why change it from the purple? Uh, just because it's another purple in the city now. You don't like that. Same plum explosion. I set the trend. But we got to get out of here. <laughs> so I'm about to get this this one of one situation. And when I How get. How much is going to charge to wrap that? Uh, they're going to charge me? Yeah. Um, I'm going to pay 2100 for it. Mm. But the, the paper itself costs is like 2000 He's just doing it for me for the love because the relationship. But I'm going to bring him 50, 60 cars to get wrapped. So he knows that. So now I can get a play. But. The paper, the vinyl itself, the, the expensive vinyl, you know, that chrome, you ever seen like the reflection chrome mm -hmm. and the blue yeah. chrome? That, that, that's, they charging seven racks, eight racks to wrap your joint like that. You feel what I'm saying? So when you see like Brad mm -hmm. McLaren. Yeah, Brad goes huh. nuts. <laughs> 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 eight, 9,000. Nah, that's a whole nother whip. Right. <laughs> that's like four whips for me. You feel Jeez. me? Nah, for real. If Goodness you gracious. listen to me, I'm telling you, but it it is one of one. We know Brad's McLaren when we see it yeah. in the city. So that's what it's about. So you want to set yours apart and then people will want to book them like that. Gotcha. Um, interiors are good too. Mm -hmm. If you can choose that red guts interior when it comes to a luxury. <laughs> so you you wrap interiors too. No, 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 rap, no. But no, no. No, I mean, if I, I, I got a guy who would do upholstery and interiors, but that's when you... That's Z, guys. That's not A. Y'all don't want to do no more investing into these right, cars. Right. That's a expensive, too. And it takes like four weeks, so a car got to be sitting gotcha. if they do it right. Gotcha. Like, I'm about to get my Rafe done. Mm. The interior. Hold on. Do you have any questions? Do you have a question? Any questions? For Mitch, yeah, on the podcast. You just got to ask it real loud so we can hear. What's your end game? What's your end game? Uh, I've accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish in the rental car space. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can I know that for a fact I can get any car I want. 
And because I initially started it just because I had a high car note and I wanted to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then I scaled it. So I'm done. I, I mean, not done, but I'm going to continue my business. I got my brother. Being, he's running my daily operations now. I got staff like a clay, like a uh, slim. And I got three other employees. And occasionally I'm about to take four interns in. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty much uh, accomplished everything I want to accomplish in that space. So now I'm about to go private jet swag. So I'm looking for these planes and these hangers, and I'm about Bro, to get busy. Bro, if I see, if I look in the sky and I see a wrapped <laughs> private plane, hey, bro, yo, I bro, see I a just global can't. plane, bro. I'm man, gonna know something. Man, that's when I'm going private jet swag, and then I got a new goal, like to where I just want to help people now. So I just want to make a million millionaires. That's where I'm. A, I'm gonna get that done. You, you know what's so dope though, because you didn't you didn't jump in the game to teach it, because you no. literally just. Package all the five years of information and millions of dollars into a course. Uh, for sure. And that's what's dope. I mean, I list literally, like, I, I you know, all, a lot of the stuff stemmed from meeting you guys and seeing how y'all do it and how impactful y'all is. Like, I clearly, you can make them all the money in the world, but like, you can't leave an impact with the money that you make. Mm. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta spread it around, spread the knowledge. Because the way that I live, I feel like sometimes, it's like not fair, you know what I mean? Like I live abundantly, like I can do what I want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like in a humble way, like I literally have what you feel like is financial freedom. Cause like I literally, like I told you, I fly for free, live for free. I drive cars that I want for free. And I actually make money from doing this. Mm -hmm. And it feels, I'm, I'm doing it all based off of leveraging my credit and my social currency. And if I could teach that to a million people, like, I would feel great. Like like the impact that we had when we went to Kroger's and gave back and the impact that we had when we went to Walmart and did that. And like even just giving my mom, being able to buy my mom a car, like that feels so much better giving than taking. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my happiness doesn't stem from, I didn't get happier because I got a lot of money. I get happier for us, the stuff that I can, the people I can impact. Mm -hmm. So when I'm seeing these people on Instagram telling me how this course changed their life and all that, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. like, like I, it just made me feel better. It gave me a purpose. So I, I never really had like a, a, I wasn't never passionate about the cars either. I'm not passionate about them. It's just something I, I it's a play. It's a leverage play. That's why I do the Airbnbs. I'm, I'm leveraging the Airbnbs crazy. Like it's a leverage play, but I understand that you can leverage everything. So I want to leverage everything and I want to teach people how to do what it is that I do. Okay. Now, if I can make a million millionaires and I can go home and go to sleep like a baby right now, I'm restless. I can't sleep. So I got to make a million millionaires before I go to sleep and retire my mom this year. So that's my goal. Mm. So my end game, retire my mom, make a million millionaires, get into the private jet field and leverage that space. Uh, clearly, my boys like to fly private jets. Right. Neo and them. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Stay on the private jet. So, you know, they need to come to the kid. Mark, Marcus said he's going he gonna to put me on one. I I never been on one. Me neither. I still haven't been on one either. So, I clearly, yo, I'm Marcus pretty sure this Neo, year. man. Come on. What are we doing? What? Yo. Hey, look, and it's affordable love, now. Man. The way they doing it's affordable. <laughs> like they, but they did it too major. Like, the offer I got, 4000 for the day to go to Miami. Come right back. Mm -hmm. uh, I might just stay for the week. I spent 4000 <laughs> <laughs> But, uh. Yeah, no, but it's affordable the way they're doing it together collectively. And I do want to say that before I get off here. We're so much stronger together than apart. Like, people don't understand that. And 100%. they and they want to understand how I got so many cars. It's because I know that. I know that fact. I'm, I'm in tune with the fact that we're stronger together. A percentage of something is way better than nothing. Yeah. So if I can make a deal with you and take a percentage, I can make a deal with you, 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 and make a percentage of something, how I'm going to go broke if I'm... I'm, I'm I don't got to do the work in all of these deals. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the deal is in itself. I understand that if me, you, and three other people go in on a mansion and we rent it out for 2000 a day, I don't got to do all the daily operations. We yeah, together in this, right? Sure. And we, we breaking it down, but that's a lot of money when you go into that way. Now we got leverage in there. Leverage in the home. Yeah. We get money from living in the mansion. It's like, come on, bro. We can shoot content in this thing. There's yeah. so many things you can do by leveraging things together. Or yeah. I can wait all my life to stack up my millions of dollars and get a mansion. Or I can wait all my life and just try to get a Ferrari. Like, yeah. oh, I got to do it for one more year. Or I can just leverage. And then me and you can make the deal. Yeah. And what I told you about the million dollar thing I'll tell you about when we first walked yes, in here. So there's people don't understand like how to get million dollar loans or $200,000 loans. Or, and I told them it's very easy to get these. How do you do that? You actually just go apply for one. That sounds crazy, don't it? Sounds crazy. All right, so let me, let me explain it. So when you want to get a million dollar loan, you go apply for it. And then once you, it just costs you, all it costs you is one hard inquiry. So when you get this hard inquiry and then you ask them, they're going to tell you exactly why you didn't get approved for a million dollar loan. What does that tell you? The underwriting guidelines. So when you get the underwriting guidelines, now when you go back the next time, you got everything that it says on that paper. Or if you want to get more detail, you can go and ask them, say, hey, what do, ask the bank manager, what do I got to do to get this million dollar loan? I got, I didn't get approved. Why didn't I? Then guess what? They tell you everything you need. 
So now I know I need two years experience in my business. I need um, this 800 credit score. I need uh, this many statements. I got the underwriting guidelines. So now I can do a joint venture just like I told y'all. Me and Sham's got all that stuff that I need. <laughs> Sham's, got, Sham's got the two years experience. He got the business revenue of this amount of money. He got the credit score of 800. So look, me and you gonna go on a joint venture. I need to get a million dollar loan. I think we can make a play on a huge distribution center. And if me and you going on it, you can have this percentage. And just because I put it together, I'll let you get the majority because we're using your information to get it. And I'll take a minority, but I'm just gonna take a percentage of this deal that's gonna be a lifetime of payment for us. So did we just get the million dollar loan while waiting all our life or did I just leverage what I know by just applying for a million dollar loan? If y'all think that's cap, if y'all think that's cap, I don't talk about stuff I ain't did yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just tell y'all that right now. Oh my so, gosh. And that goes for everything though. So yeah, when I, it comes to loan, lending and, gotcha. and loans. So business loans, home loans, car loans. If you wanna find out how to get it, just apply. Just use one, one hard inquiry. Mm -hmm. So you're 31 years old, and I got to ask this question, okay? Mm -hmm. You're young, fly, flashy, you know what I'm saying? Like, support, rich. Yo, support black college. Shout out to Justin and my boy Corey. You feel me? How's the dating life? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. All right, no, it's, it's good and bad. I, Let me tell that, you why. I mean. It's, it's good and bad, and, and we spoke on this, but we entrepreneurs is the really the, the main thing. And now, as an older entrepreneur, I can understand the frustration that women go through trying to date me. So I can immediately see the problem and tell them about What's this. What's the problem? The pro issue is that the time that they need. Mm -hmm. I don't have all my time. She wants all my time. So it's definitely not going to be given to you her. You got more time than the average person. Because every time I say, yo, let's go hoop, you're like, all right. I'm no, that's cap. <laughs> for the most <laughs> that is cap. We be hooping at eight in the Bro. morning before everything starts. And then if not, I, I'm going to miss it. Or I can just plan to go at 12. And that's even harder now. I ain't going to yes, lie. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You can plan it. Right. Well, you can plan it. I, I can plan things. See, that's the You've thing. Got time. That's okay. But Miss, this, you got this time, is speaking bro. from logic, though. So you got to, when a female is invested, it's not logic. No, no, it's emotion. Is, <laughs> you got time. You got a staff that runs the business. You know. No, that's now. That just started. This is All a new right. thing. I, I, I was trying to, I was ripping and running for five whole years mm. by myself, right. getting a headache and ending up like Kanye with the damn brain aneurysm <laughs> because I, I understand how you can go crazy trying to run a business by yourself. So now I'm hiring staff to do everything, even go through my DMs. I'm talking about where I look at stuff and get a headache. Mm. Look, had to hire the CPA, had to hire all these people to do all my finances and books and stuff. I was doing all this stuff by myself. So now that was already prior stuff. So now newly, I'm trying to organize my life to where I can get my time back. But I understand it's a problem now also. So if I'm trying to date and I do plan on having companionship in my life, it's hard because they aren't understand, like women, especially women that I choose to try to talk to now. That's also a problem. Maybe that's the problem. Also huh? a problem. So I choose a certain type of female, right? And this normally What's is an issue. Type, well, I don't have a type. What but type do you keep to there are, up? I, I, I do have a, an attraction to women who are very, very attractive. <laughs> so clearly they come with, <laughs> they come with, uh, you know, they, with the sense the of, they come with. yeah, they come with a sense of, uh, what's the word? Privilege. Mm. And, and, you know, they, they have a privilege that they expect things to be done for them simply because they look this way and not no work put in for it. Because they look this way, they, you are expected to do these and things you like for them. that. That's toxic. And that, that's not the part that I like. <laughs> the part that I like is that the, the eye candy. And, you know, I'll try to, to dial that back a little bit, but it's tough. <laughs> tough for me, bro. <laughs> tough for me, bro. I'll be like, look. You can't, hey, but you like what you like, man. You can't dial I'm that sorry. back, bro. So I'm trying to, and I'm in a quest to find someone who is uh, attractive in that way, right? And then attractive on the interior as well. Also difficult. And then you gotta also meet somebody who has, uh, who are understanding and can deal with an entrepreneur. Cause they are like, just imagine, just imagine even yourself. Like you just, you, you get all the attention that you mm -hmm. want, right? And then you taking this guy who don't give you the, the attention that you want. So just this, these females, man, they, they get a lot of attention from the guys and that time is like, whatever they say, they snap their fingers, do pop up. And Mitch gonna be like, oh, I got business. <laughs> so that come first and I got obligations and now I got staff and I got people that depend on me and I got goals. I wanna retire my mom. Listen, man, so until you ain't I, ready for that right now. Until it happens, I can't, <laughs> I can't give them the time. It's just not like plan things I can do. Mm. 
if we plan stuff, but you also got to be understanding when a car gets stolen in the middle of the night, I'm out of here. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. Or I can't go to this place for a week randomly like you can do it. I got to schedule that out, get everything in order before I go. If I don't, then it's all haywire. When it's go, like hell's breaking loose when I get back. Mm -hmm. Right? So I, they got to understand that. They're not understanding. And they don't understand that I got to get out and network and socialize um, as well as what I've been fine to get my studies. Is that something you want right now? Or you just I, I would love companionship. I actually, you know, I'll be trying it too. I'll be trying to go against the grain, like everything. I try to do something totally different than I ever did this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not this year, but last year. I try to date somebody, look, he's shaking his head. I try to date somebody that I just met, right? When I was doing the background check, like not background check, but like give, vetting them. Mm. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just go with the energy. Let me see what, how you it goes. You go off energy? Some people uh, say you man. should go energy. Yeah, yeah, I tried it. I mean, I was just like, let me see. I, I, I always vet them. It doesn't that. work. I always vet them for a long period of time, mm -hmm. then decide to go ahead and make the investment, right? This time I said, look, I'm going to just, I ain't even going to do all of that. I'm going to just try it. Horrible decision. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what to do, guys. So whatever I'm trying, it ain't working. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, okay. I, I'm open to the companionship for sure, but it, it's going to take a, that understanding person. Does she to, have to be an entrepreneur? Nah. She Does she gotta, have to be up? Nah, no. That's not even important to me. I'll turn you up. I'll turn mm. you up. But the problem is, um, the problem is understanding. I gotta have yeah. people who treat me how I treat them, yeah. and that's the only thing. I don't have high expectations, but you I know got. What? High I don't even think you would like that. I don't think you would like someone treating you how you treat them, where they're not the priority. If you, well, I, I treat them as a priority. priority. I treat them as a priority. I, I just want to be you to be understanding in a situation to where, like, this is how this kind of guy I am. If my girl is going out with her homegirls, I'm I'm hyping her up. Go out with your homegirls. Go turn up on the city. Your, your dress ain't sexy enough. You gotta give me dudes. Gotta be buying you drinks. You need to get them for free. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, if you ain't like that with me, like if I the one time right. I'll never go out. Right. I don't smoke a drink. What I'm gonna do out? <laughs> if I go out and you give me a hard time, that's what girls do to me. Mm -hmm. Because it's a I, I need a secure woman, bro. Mm -hmm. You gotta be top notch secure. Yeah. If you top notch secure, we, we might can make it make sense. But it, it's this is the trouble with dating too. Like, so you see the facade. What's the first thing people ask you when you start dating them? What's your social media? Mm -hmm. They see that, it's over. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yo, yeah, it's your social. It's no, over. bro. Yeah. And if I if I meet you out in a damn Lamborghini, right. it's over. I, it's like I try to <laughs> I, I try to get them to date me for me, like, and you can't get them because they already didn't got the damn aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't got the damn race. They, the race talk is different. I just swung the door open, closed one time when I joined. She just ran to the car. I was like, <laughs> so you know, I try to meet them like in platonic places. Like, like the the girl that I tried that with was on an airplane, and she didn't know none of the social media, nothing. Right. So that's why I was like, let me go with energy, see what it's like. Oh, she wasn't ready. <laughs> she, she wasn't ready. She didn't know. She wasn't ready for the lifestyle. It's different. It is oh, different, and I goodness. understand it. So I got to meet somebody that's understanding of the lifestyle. Yeah. Understand the entrepreneur and treats me how I want to be treated. Like treats me how they want to be treated, gotcha. which is wants to be able to go out and have, I want, you gotta, the main thing I think it is, they gotta have a life outside of me, mm. even when they're in a relationship. I feel like. 100%. Because women tend to do this in a relationship. They, they, they turn into a whole other person. Mm. So before the relationship, the person that you fall in love with, like while they're like, you talking phase, mm. she going out with her homegirls, doing yoga and shit. Oh, this is dope, I miss her. Man, once y'all make it official, she's right here underneath your armpit. <laughs> you like, damn, why are you gonna get out of there? Like, bro, like why you gotta be around? Like, waiting for you to come oh, home, waiting for you to call versus going out there and living their life and having life outside mm. of me, yeah. which would be healthy for mm. any relationship. Man, yeah. these girls would be like, you might as well be my personal assistant now. <laughs> right, you there. And then they get mad because I don't like to combine like uh, finances and all that stuff all in this phase. They yeah. they want it because it's different. Like the same thing, the reason why people want the business and they want instant gratification, mm -hmm. it's the same thing in a relationship. They want to get married immediately. You want to combine your, my bank account with you? Shorty, you got to have, <laughs> yo. It, and it's a stressful thing. Like I had it, even my last serious relationship, it was a big problem. I didn't want to combine Man, finances you know, with it. I'm like, yo. <laughs> You're going to do me like, uh, right. well, I well, I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to slide in your DM right now. But I want to say, say thank you. It's cat. Oh, I got, a, uh, I, got a, I got a question. Okay. So I like to make pred predictions on the podcast. Okay. okay. I want to know what you see for yourself in the next five to ten years so that we can watch this later and be like, yo, Mitch said he was going to do that five years ago. We got the video. He did it. Predictions for myself in the next five to ten years. Five to ten years. I want you to think about that. I'm gonna do a quick commercial, real quick. Okay. All right, dope. All right, cool. So, um, this episode, as always, is uh, one sponsored by 
Mitch's course, okay? Because I'm going to get that joint, and I hope everybody else gets it too. Um, but The Morning Meetup, The Morning Meetup, TheMorningMeetup.com is the only, the only community that gathers every single day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the betterment of the entrepreneurship community, okay? We have hundreds of entrepreneurs that gather every single morning and every day we have a topic. So every month we have one topic, like this month we're, we're uh, adopting the, business, the, the millionaire mindset. So every day we're talking about adopting the millionaire mindset. We're, we're interviewing multiple millionaires every single morning um, this month. So we'll have about 10 to 15 millionaires that we have that we're going to sit sit there and interview them point blank range because I, I, I just got to identify how they think. And we're doing it in front of hundreds of uh, people on a Zoom call. Okay. So uh, join. It's only a dollar. Start out for a dollar. You need to be in the community. Um, TheMorningMeetup.com. TheMorningMeetup.com. You can start out for a dollar trial. Seven days. If you like it, stay. Great. If you don't, you can leave. No contracts, no obligations. Um, you can leave when you want to. But I think you're going to stay. So go to TheMorningMeetup.com and enroll today. Mitch. Five to 10 years, brother. Five to 10 years, I see myself. Um, I see myself traveling the world. By yourself? Or traveling the world. Is a joint in the picture? So, can you see it in the picture? Do you see something? You I, see a look, silhouette? honestly, I'm going to be 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I want it. You don't see it in the picture. I want it. And I can't vividly see yeah it's okay it's okay but i see myself traveling to find that mm. get what i'm saying so i think i will have by five to yeah by five to whoa by five to ten years world. though i should be i should have that and i should be having a family and i should be um have had created if not a million millionaires at least a thousand and, and that had me content because all I really want to do for real, like I want to be of service, man. Like mm. that's what everybody want. Everybody want to have a use in this, in this world. It's like you can get lost in translation, right? That's real. And I feel like my purpose is to, to, to give away everything. I might be broke in 10 years. <laughs> I, might give, I might give away it all because I understand there's no, it's no power in it. So I don't work for money now, right? But it comes to me. It's attracted to me. Mm. So I want to just give it away <laughs> and then see how it happens. See if I can build it again. I love it. So that's the key. It. I don't know. I'm just, I just hope that I'm traveling and the world is back to normal and mm. I can go around without a mask every right, day I'm weird. Right. And um, I'm just happy. Good, good. So that's all it's about. That's what's up. Listen, man, I need y'all to go. There will be a link in the, um, in the description to Mitch's course. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is, but we're going to do 10%. Can we do 10%? Is that cool? 10% off? That's a high percentage. Yeah, 10%. 10%. <laughs> so you got to ask him on camera so they can't say no. You know right, I mean? right. <laughs> That's a key. See, he's teaching you the skills, man. He's teaching I, you I the skills. I want to see y'all. I love y'all. For sure. Okay, so um, enter the code social proof and you will get 10% off from this course. Um, and I will see you in the program, okay? So, um... Do they get the court? There's like a community or anything that we gather? In uh, yeah, well, the only ones who gather in a community with me is uh, my mentee. So I do offer a mentorship program as Good. well. So if you would like that, please uh, hit me in the DM. Push me Mitch. Good. I love it. I love it. All right, cool. So um, please just click the link in the description. Use the code social proof. S. O C I A L P R O O F, all one word, social proof, and you'll get 10% off the course. Mitch, thank you so much, man. For sure. I appreciate I really you. Like I just want to also, before we get off here, give you your flowers real quick. My boy, do you see this? Do you see what you're doing right now? Do you see what you're doing for the people too? You know what I just did? What? I brought a ma I brought some millionaire information in front mm -hmm. of an audience. Bruh. That's what I see that I just did. No, that's what you that's what you're doing. And and I think that's more powerful than anything that I've ever accomplished. I think it's just super dope what you're doing. And I know where you came from. Like, yeah. bruh, you was already lit when I met you. But <laughs> you lit now. So that's dope, bro. I, I can keep doing what you're doing, bro. I really I look up to you, bro, and it's it's awesome. I love you, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, look, man. Um, make sure oh, you gotta close this out with a strong word of wisdom, man. Ooh. Strong um, word. Strong word of Take wisdom. Take us home. Tips with Mitch, real quick. Hey, look, I go live every day, so make sure y'all know y'all gonna get a whole lot of uh, strong closeouts. So mm -hmm. check it out. Always use your social currency, cause guess what? Your network is your network. Get it? Not even net worth. Your network is your network. You get it? 
All right, push me on Mitch. You can't close it out no stronger than that. Listen, man, what? go to the bank and <laughs> go, like, to the bank. go to the bank. <laughs> you go straight to the bank. Go holler at them. Tell them to get you a load. Get you a car. Get the course. We about to make this thing happen, okay? So I want y'all. I want you guys to go get some social proof, okay? I mean, meaning I want you to go build something, do it in excellence, succeed at it. But then I want you to go teach somebody else how you did it. All right, man. Ooh, I will see y'all. That we was dope. Here. Peace.